So hi all, um, I'll try to explain how I'm attempting to copy Heinbach's um, pendulum looper setup with this reel to reel using a teletype and I2C to MIDI and my 1010 black box. Uh, recent updates on the 1010 black box make it possible to do MIDI synced recording, which uh, is actually what enables this whole thing. Um, I made a few scripts on the teletype, I'll show you now. So um, this is the input data. I actually put in a pattern. So the left, uh, the most leftmost pattern, is uh, the instruction. So basically, how many milliseconds to record and in which direction, with negative values being reverse. And what it then does is, in the utmost right column, it actually calculates based on the pattern you put in on the left the start point of each sample. So I will sample 14 different pads on the black box. And once it starts playing, it will play them from the starting position. So you really get a true representation uh, of the points where the sample will start playing as if it was basically recorded on a HP fancy reel-to-reel -reel test equipment thingy that, uh, that Heinbach is using. Uh, which I will never find, won't be able to afford, and this is getting me quite close actually, so I really like it. So I'll take you to the, to, through the scripts, what it actually does. So the first one is just recalculating based on my input data to get start points for the different samples. Um, script two is uh, to the recording script, so it will automatically start recording and I'll show you in a minute what that looks like. Uh, the third script is just one that kills the recording after it reaches uh, 14 pads. And the fourth script, which is triggered by the metronome using the cable there, uh, is basically what allows me with a loop, the script five is being looped, to play this loop. So right now I have a very, on my modular, I have a very simple sine wave from this Victor oscillator. It's being VC8 using a like a wobbly clock from my noise ring um, and that's is basically the envelope so it's a and it's a static sound so it's very simple but using this uh, this system as in Heimbach's uh, great talk that he gave in German um, this yields really really cool sound so now I'll just uh, trigger the, the, the MIDI recording uh, there we go and you see the black box immediately starts to record to different pads. So what I'll do in a minute once it's done, I will um, sample the raw input straight as if it's just going on a tape. And then I will uh, let you hear the pendulum loop that's created, uh, that's created using this setup. What I uh, put in in the, in the other patterns here is basically the MIDI channel and the third pattern is uh, is MIDI notes. So I get, uh, this is basically where you determine the speed of, uh, of what happens. So 60 is C4 and I go up fifths or octaves or down octaves to get different, uh, different notes as if I was pressing a, a speed switch or, and, or programming the speed of the reel-to-reel -reel recorder. So it's basically done, and now it's also playing. So what it's playing now uh, is is this pendulum loop, and I'll now uh, let you uh, let you hear an example of uh, of what this uh, this sounds like. So here I have uh, I have everything recorded, fourteen pads with all the samples that go into the pendulum loop. I have here this one is uh, just recording the input straight without any looping or pitching or anything. So I will let you hear what that sounds like. So it's not that exciting. It's really, yeah, just some irregular sign tones. And then I'll let you hear the pendulum loop that I programmed. So that's it. There are a few limitations here. Actually, the, um, 
the, the teletype uh, only, only allows for 30 second loops. I might be able to program it longer, but as the program is now, 30 seconds is, uh, is the maximum. But you can do a lot within that time. And this setup really allows some things that the reel-to-reel -reel machine wouldn't allow. So I can do some MIDI CC modulation. The black box, of course, has some granular capabilities, which, uh, which are interesting. And just sample mangling within this pendulum loop. Uh, so there are some uh, benefits of this system. Uh, the downside is that the reel-to-reel -reel is just much more hands-on. You can play the whole loop much uh, slower and you get the real the, the tape uh, effect that you don't really get here i can do the same i can resample and slow down uh, the playback but it's really uh, it sounds different but uh, i'm quite happy with how close this got me to uh, to that setup and uh, i'll uh, i'll get back to you when i uh, improve the script and uh, have some more to show thank you all for watching